it comes to excellence in motorsports, few organizations can match the success of Tony Stewart Racing. Since its inception, the Brownsburg, Indiana-based organization has claimed hundreds of victories and 18 national titles. Success on the track continued to be the norm for a team that tallied 38 victories in a pair of national titles during the 2013 season. In addition to multiple victories and championships, TSR raised the bar even higher by providing outstanding exposure for their valued marketing partners. With the dust settling on the 2013 campaign, it is time to take a look back at the dramatic results from an organization that once again set the standard in short track racing. Replacing a legend is never easy, but Brian Clausen was up to the task in 2013 as he replaced Levi Jones in the number 20 Chevrolet Performance Curb Records entry for Tony Stewart Curb Agajanian Racing. After kicking off the month of February with a victory at Bubba Raceway Park in Ocala, Florida, Clausen and his team battled Mother Nature throughout the spring as they prepared for the heart of the USAC schedule. The 2012 USAC Amsoil National Sprint Car Series champion was in a league of his own during the annual Indiana Sprint Week as he claimed victory in the final two events to capture his first Sprint Week title. Clausen added his fourth win of the season during the opening night of SmackDown at Kokomo Speedway. That victory began a stretch of 14 straight top tens to close out the season. A pair of solid finishes at the Oval Nationals at Paris Auto Speedway in October was enough to clinch the championship for Clausen and the number 20 team. En route to his title, Clausen scored seven wins, 21 top fives, and 30 top tens, and continued the tradition of excellence of TSR's USAC Sprint Car Program. Steve Kinzer kicked off his 34th season of World of Outlaws STP Sprint Car Series competition with an all-new partner. Bad Boy Buggies joined the King of the Outlaws as he began his quest for a 21st series title behind the wheel of the TSR owned number 11. The Bloomington, Indiana native earned his first victory of the season and 575th of his outlaw career at El Paso Speedway early in the season. Throughout the spring and summer, Kinzer continued to prove why he's among the greatest drivers in motorsports history. The legend was at his absolute finest during the 53rd annual Knoxville Nationals as he charged from the back to the front during his heat race on the second qualifying night. His impressive performance secured the 12-time Nationals winner a starting position in Saturday night's A-Main. After finishing ninth at the Nationals, the driver of the number 11 bad boy buggies, J.D. Byrider, Chevrolet Maxim, continued his August surge by recording his second victory of the season at McCool Junction Speedway. In addition to providing extensive exposure on the racetrack, Kinzer kept Bad Boy Buggies trending by teaming up with his son Craig and companion Bad Boy Buggies Machines at both the Knoxville Nationals and the World of Outlaws World Finals to promote the Win the King's Ride campaign. Michigan native David Moore ended up being the lucky recipient of a Kinzer-themed recoil IS buggy World Finals in November. With two wins, 10 top five finishes, 32 top tens, and an eighth place finish in the final series standing, Kinzer added yet another successful chapter in his remarkable career. In 2013, Bobby East was on a mission to add a fourth consecutive USAC Traxxas Silver Crown title for Tony Stewart, Curb Agajanian Racing. Success came early as the Indiana native went to victory lane for the third time in his career by winning at Pikes Peak International Raceway. Following his victory, East was the model of consistency by earning four straight top ten finishes including runner-up performances at Belleville High Banks and the DuPoint State Fairgrounds. Heading into the Four Crown Nationals event at the famed Eldora Speedway, East held a five-point lead in the championship standings. The driver of the Chevrolet Performance Curd Records entry timed in first and finished sixth to capture both the driver and owner championships in the season's final event. The title marked East's third career USAC National Series championship and he became only the sixth driver in USAC history to win back-to-back -back titles. 
before the season, East finished with a victory, three top fives, and eight top tens. Tony Stewart in car number 14. After back-to-back -back seasons of open-wheel success, Tony Stewart attempted yet another ambitious sprint car schedule in 2013. The driver known as Smoke kicked off the season aboard the number 14 Chevrolet Performance Mobile One Sprint Car with three top fives before breaking through with his first victory of the season at Sealings Grove Speedway. The winning continued as the three-time NASCAR champion added an Interstate Racing Association victory to his list of accomplishments. The standing room only crowd was treated to an epic battle at the Sheboygan County Fairgrounds as Stewart and IRA hero Billy Baylog traded slide job after slide job. Stewart continued to compete with multiple sanctioning bodies as he raced with the ASCS National Series in late June before joining Donnie Schott, Steve Kinzer, and the rest of the Outlaws in the prestigious Kings Royal at Eldora Speedway. Stewart's season came to a halt in early August when a crash at the Front Row Challenge at Southern Iowa Speedway sidelined him with a compound fracture in his right leg. With Stewart on the mend, it was his crew chief Jimmy Carr that took some of the spotlight. The 1991 World of Outlaws Rookie of the Year was inducted into the Canadian Motorsport Hall of Fame. The Vancouver native was recognized for his achievements in sprint car racing and became the first Hall of Famer at TSR. Stewart took great pride in Carr's induction and will count on the veteran crew chief as he seeks a return to wing sprint car competition in 2014. After suffering a season-ending injury in 2012, Levi Jones was back behind the wheel of the number 10 Chevrolet Performance Curb Records entry for Tony Stewart Curb Agagenian Racing. The Illinois native began the chase for his third USAC Traxxas Silver Crown Series Championship in thrilling fashion at the famed Hoosier 100. With 18 laps remaining, Jones took over the second position on a restart and set his sights on race leader Jerry Coons Jr. Jones took the lead heading into turn three on lap 94 and never looked back. It was his first victory in the annual event held at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Jones used a seventh place finish at Gateway Motorsports Park just outside of St. Louis to strengthen his lead in the series standings. After the event, the multi-time USAC champion decided to forego a chance at the title in order to spend more time with his family. Throughout his years with TSR, Jones epitomized the standard of excellence that the organization strives for both on and off the racetrack and will surely go down as one of the greatest drivers in short track racing history. There's only one word to describe Donnie Schatz in 2013, and that is dominant. Donnie Schatz wins the Monster Meltdown! Donnie Schatz wins it! Free Schatz gets him on the road! Free Schatz! The North Dakota native opened the season by sweeping the UNOH All-Star Circuit of Champions season opener at Bubba Raceway Park. Schatz earned his first outlaw win of the season at Las Vegas Motor Speedway in early March and added more victories throughout the spring, including a thriller at Williams Grove Speedway. Beginning with a victory in the Boot Hill Showdown at Dodge City Raceway Park, Schatz proved to be unstoppable during the summer months. In 35 World of Outlaw events from July 2nd through September 30th, Schatz took the checkered flag an astounding 14 times. Included in those victories, he scored his seventh Knoxville Nationals trophy in the previous eight years. Remarkably, that evening began with him winning the B before becoming the first driver to win the sport's biggest race from the 21st starting position. Throughout the fall months, Schatz and his number 15 STP Armorall Chevrolet team added more victories to their total as they chased series point leader Darren Pittman with a vengeance. Despite picking up his season's 25th victory at the World Finals in Charlotte, Schatz and company came up just 14 points short, claiming his sixth Outlaws title. In addition to his 25 wins, Schatz racked up 48 top fives and 63 top tens. With personal best in several categories, Schatz cemented his status as one of the best ever to race a sprint car. Between 
championships, victories, breathtaking performances, and outstanding partner exposure, TSR once again served as a model for success in motorsports. The organization's results would not be possible without the support and commitment from the following marketing partners. STP, Bad Boy Buggies, Armor All, Chevrolet Performance, Curb Records, and JD Byrider. TSR now sets its sights on preparing for the 2014 campaign. The organization will once again compete against the best the short track racing world has to offer with the expectation of adding to an outstanding legacy of success.